early on, just 43 seconds into this one, MJ Paulin got the green wave on the board. Assist by Shane Prusak, blast from the left point, went top corner and green, Greenfield was off and running at that point. Amherst was not, uh, not done that early. Five and a half minutes to go in the first period. Joe Frenier connected on a feed from Koji Ishida. You'll remember last time that Amherst was here. They did that to the green wave again. So uh, a lethal combination. Ishida, of course, is the leading scorer for the Hurricanes. Later in the first period, about a minute later, Kyle Barnes got the first of his three goals on the night of a power play goal. Assists went to Devin Niles and Shane Prusak on that one. And then sometimes it's a backbreaker, but with 34 seconds to go in the first period, Jacob Bryant on a nice feed from Kyle Barnes connected, and that made it 3-1 to one at the end of one. A little bit of wind came out of the Amherst sails, but uh, with, the, with the short break between a first and second period, they didn't really get a chance to regather themselves. Second period was certainly all Greenfield as they outshot Amherst by an 18 to five margin. Kyle Barnes started the scoring in the second period. Derek Lenoyes had gotten leveled in the faceoff circle to the left side of Spencer McDonald. Barnes picked up the puck and just uh, waltzed right in and buried it for his second goal of the night. And just 19 seconds later, Kyle Barnes finished his hat trick. Matt Lavoine and Aiden Roach. A couple of nice feeds there to get it over to Barnes. I don't know how many career hat tricks Kyle has had, but he certainly got one tonight. Four point night for Kyle, three goals and an assist. Scoring wasn't done. Devin Niles got another green wave goal, a power play goal with 2.57 to go in the second period. Then in the third period, Devin Niles, just one minute in, staked the green wave to a 7-1 to lead as he got his second goal of the night. Last goal of the night went to the Hurricanes. It was a, an unusual play. Josh Bordeaux made a nice save, but the puck bounded up in the air, went off the chest of MJ Paulin, fell into the back of the net, and that was all the scoring. 7-2 to was the final score. For the entire crew at FCAT Media, for my friend Chris Collins, I'm Lou Bordeaux saying good night from Greenfield. <laughs>